Hey, I'm uh, Tristan Barnard. I'm the director of photography for Star Trek Renegades. The director of photography takes everything that is inside the director's head visually and we put it on camera, we put it on film. Um, if you've ever done paint by numbers, what I do is I paint with light. So it's my job to create this entire world that's on script, that's with our actors, that's in our director's mind, and really channel that in a way that we use light we use movement, we move, use emotion within the camera to pull out an actor's performance. A little move here, a little move there. We do everything to accentuate the story and put it right before an audience. Draw an audience member in so they feel like they're actually a part of the movie. A cinematographer has a lot of different tools. We have a lot of handheld systems that allow us to bring an audience member directly into a scene as a part of, of that movie. As, a, as another character. Like if we're in the middle of a fight scene, you want to go handheld so that we feel every single blow that we receive as an audience member. We're right there in them. Like today we've got a huge fight scene, big choreography. Now it's one thing if we just stay far away and we just watch this scene and we're just rock solid and we just watch it. It's kind of boring. You kind of see people fighting. You don't really feel it as an audience member. There's no emotion there. Now you bring that camera in and you're right there next to the fists and the, those fists are coming at you and you're, when, when we're moving back and forth all jagged and hard we, we're suddenly we're transformed as audience members to participants and we're a part of it, we're right in that gritty with it and that's one system of using handheld for the emotionality of a movie and then you have other, we have other tools such as dolly now these are for more for scenes when you're trying to pull very specific emotions in a scene. Like uh, take Forrest Gump, he's sitting down on a chair somewhere and he's talking about his mom and the chocolates etc. You'd start on a far away and it's very slowly, very steadily as we're learning more and more about him, more and more, we get closer and closer because we're coming to know him more and we're getting more of his backstory and we're starting to love him and as we get closer we're allowing ourselves to very gradually get to know this person and allow ourselves into his little world. So there's, there's a lot of different systems that we use to make a scene make sense. We are using the red camera system, which is, to me, is the, is, is the only way to go. There's a lot of uh, other great high def systems out there that um, have no fault, but prefer my preference is to use the red camera system. We're using a red MX and we're using a red Epic. The thing with Tim and I on visual style is that we have a very similar style. Tim was always over my shoulder and making sure that what was in his head was coming through the camera. And a lot of it is he would say, this is what the blocking is, this is where we're going. And I'll say, well, this is how we need to do this camera wise. We need to pull that over here, put this there, and I'll do this, and then she'll do that, and I'll meet them here. And a lot of it is a synergy between myself, Tim, and the actors. It's always very important as a, as a DP to tell your actors like what lens you're on, where you're going to be framing them. Don't come too close this way, don't come that close that way, because it enhances their performance if they know how to play towards your camera. It's very, very important in a film. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoy all these little pieces of information, and uh, we're having an amazing time here on set, and we just can't wait for you to sit back and enjoy Star Trek Renegades.